Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we're doing all fish species in Red Dead Redemption 2. This is unlocked after Chapter 2, Fisher of Men mission. Um, you can also do the Legendary Fish Challenge, and those Legendary Fish will count as getting each species of fish. So the first thing you need to do is go to Lagra here. Uh, you're going to go to this shack here, and you're going to buy crickets, worms, crayfish, and the river, lake, and swamp lures. I recommend you buy at least five of each. For each purchase, I think you get five, so I'm saying purchase each thing five times. These aren't very expensive, so it can be totally worth it. Now, next what you're gonna do is you're gonna ride to roads or fast travel to roads and um, basically go to the general store here and you're gonna buy corn, bread, and cheese. And again, I would just buy a bunch, at least five of each. Again, you might be okay without so many. I bought even more because I didn't care I had enough money. But basically, the last thing you want to do is run out of money just halfway while you're doing this. This whole thing took me about an hour. There's a video of me doing it in real time. I'll leave a link in the description below. But I figured people might just want to see quickly where all the locations are. So these are the locations where we're going. One is in La Gra. Um, one is West of Rhodes in Clemens Point. Right there. The next one is going to be in Bard's Crossing. Just at the tip of this uh, land mass is where uh, I like to stand. And uh, the next location is Cattail Pond. I like to have these marked just so I know exactly where I'm going. Save time, like I said, it'll take you about an hour. Next one is Okray's Run. And the, la the last one is going to be just west of Sizuka in these little islands here east of La Gra. And yeah, so those are all the locations where you can get all 15 species of fish. So I like to start uh, just west of Rhodes here because we were just at the general store there. You're going to head over here. And basically, we're going to go clockwise around the map. So here in Clemens Point, I start with cheese. You can get bluegill, rock bass, and redfin pickerel. That's exactly what I got using cheese. Uh, you might get, you know, with cheese, you might get the chain pickerel, right? Uh, I'm also saying here that you use um, crayfish for the smallmouth bass. But, you know, you might catch something else with the crayfish, right? You might get a rock bass with it. Um, and use corn for the chain pickerel. I find that you can also get redfin pickerel with corn, but basically with these three lures, you're gonna get uh, the bluegill, the rock bass, the redfin pickerel, the smallmouth bass, and the chain pickerel, so you can cross off. That's five fish off the list that you can cross off in Clemens Point. That's why I think it's a great little spot to get started here. So yeah, take your time. One big thing I gotta mention is that when you press your left stick and your right stick simultaneously, you go into that eagle eye vision. Um, when you're hunting for tracking, when you're holding your rod, if you do that, you're going to see sort of what kind of fish, the silhouette of the fish that are swimming in the lake or river where you are. This is very helpful because uh, as you fish, you're going to kind of notice what kind of shapes the fish are and you want to be casting in that direction there. So anyway, here I am catching uh, all the types of fish I listed. There's the chain pickerel there uh, with corn. And now we're going to move on to our next location, which is going to be Bart's Crossing. You can take a train to Rig Station from Rhodes, or you can just ride all the way to Bart's Crossing here. And basically, I set a waypoint for the tip of that island. Here I am arriving now. It's nighttime from all the traveling now, but that's all right. I, I, I didn't see that uh, time of day made a big difference in this. So just go for it, really. All right, so here we are using crayfish for the large mouth bass and worms for the steelhead trout. I found that the large mouth bass you could find easier. The trout, I find I had to go more towards the right of the location where you see I'm, I'm fishing. Uh, but either way, there's your largemouth bass. 
with the crayfish and um, I got the steelhead head trout as well so you can see I'm a bit more towards the right um, and there I am just kind of uh, looking for that trout <laughs> It took me a little while. Uh, again, this is a condensed video, but you know it might take you a couple of tries before you find your next one. But yeah, here I am equipping the worms, and then as you can see, I'm closer to that rock there, a little bit right of where we caught the bass. And then I should be pulling in that uh, steelhead trout. And there it is. Beautiful looking fish. Can't wait to do some real fishing soon. Um, that's what I mostly fish for, steelhead trout. But anyway, here we are now going to Cattail Pond. I found it was easiest just to ride there. I also got the winter equipment just because I think it was raining or it was morning and uh, I was losing health. But anyway, here in Cattail Pond, we're only getting one fish. It's the northern pike and you use the river lure for that one. Again, use your left and right stick to just find where the big fish are swimming and the big fish are going to be the pike. 19 pounds, 3 ounces, not bad. Anyway, and then we're going to go to our next location, which is Ocre's Run here in Grizzlies East. And again, I think I just rode there or you could probably fast travel to Annisburg if you want. And then we're going to equip the bread and we're going to look around for perch they're pretty small fish and uh, here I am pulling in a perch so you can see on the right there it's gonna tell you I use bread for that again these are all clips from a real-time video that I took that you can watch it took me about an hour and a few minutes to get all this done anyway then you equip the river lure for the salmon and uh, that's the sockeye salmon, nice and red. It's a very distinctive shape. You're going to aim your casting to where you see this kind of salmon shape. And then last but not least, in this spot, you're going to get the lake lure. And you're going to go for the musky, which, you know, they're going to be the bigger, the biggest fish in, the, in this lake. And there is the musky now with the lake lure. Um... And yeah, that's a beautiful thing. We're getting there. We're going to go to our second last location now. Uh, again, you could maybe fast travel to Van Horn. And then head south from there. And you get to these little islands just west of Sisica. And you're going to use corn for a bullhead catfish. They're pretty small fish. Uh, you might catch a bunch of pickerel while you're trying to look for this. That's okay. Just got to be patient. But... Uh, Eventually, you will get a bullhead catfish here using corn. And then that's going to go towards your uh, survivalist challenge there. And then if you hit the left and right stick, you're going to very easily find a big old catfish. You will use the swamp lure for that catfish, which is uh, just awesome seeing how big that fish is. Uh, just a really cool fish uh, I wish I could fish for catfish where I am but I can't but that's all right anyway um, all right guys and then last spot I like to go is back to where we started from La Gras and then you go to the top right of that lake and I just watch out for gators in these two spots I just showed you watch out for gators I just shoot them so my horse doesn't get spooked and then here you're gonna find the lake sturgeon which you're going to use the lake lure for this one. I just find that that one is best. Um, and yeah, again, they are pretty big. So they're pretty easy to see. Now, the difference between the sturgeon and the long nose gar is obviously the long nose gar is a bit thinner and they have a long nose. But I mean, it is kind of hard to tell them apart, though, even though they're so distinct. Uh, but again, it, it did take me a little while. It probably took me four casts or so. I can't remember exactly to get the long nose scar, but it wasn't right away. Don't let the editing give you that impression. But yeah, anyway, so you equip the swamp lure and then you're going to get the last fish that you're looking for, which is the long nose scar. 
and then boom there you have it you are going to complete the last challenge in the survivalist and you're gonna have fished for all 15 species of fish in this game anyway that's about it for this video i really hope you guys uh, enjoyed it uh i'm my next videos are all going to be on fishing sim world pro tour but i just thought i'd take a little detour and do these for fun if you want to see me catch all the legendary fish in the game drop a comment below if not i'm just going to keep doing fishing sim world videos anyway guys thanks a lot for uh watching thanks for all the likes and all the subscribers you guys are awesome stay safe out there we'll see you next time